declaring the quinoa crop to be a failure. This is one of the things that happens in gardening or farming is that things don't work sometimes. Earlier, in an earlier video, we looked at this one and thought this was the best looking plant. So there's a nice sturdy looking quinoa plant there. If you uh, know lamb's quarters, the weed at all, that might look a lot like that to you because they're related, they're in the same genus. We can look at it again now and see that it has indeed made these tiny little heads on here, but these are really small and pathetic considering what quinoa should look like. Also, this plant is, you know, barely more than knee high on me. It's ridiculous. They should be, you know, five to six feet high, at least four and a half feet high. But look at how tiny these plants are. These plants are tiny. Yeah, this is BS. Yep, this is not a good chemo crop. So what should they look like? Well, I'll put some pictures up um, showing a quinoa patch that we had in Portland in 2013, where you can see how tall the plants are, how big the heads are. The heads should be large, like bigger than a fist, like not just tiny like this, not, you know, something that just fits in your fingers. And yep, here's a picture of Nikki Hill and amongst the plants. So yeah, she's five foot, I don't know, four, something like that. So that's telling you how tough those plants are. So yeah, look at those. Okay, now look back at these. Yeah, see? Failure, failure, yeah. So was it timing? Was it soil? Was it variety? Was it that they just simply won't grow in this region of the world? That's possible. Not everything is gonna grow everywhere. So that's that, that's the quinoa. I wanted to uh, document that before I pulled them up. Now here in the veggie garden in the shade, right next to the irrigation ditch, there's this patch of lamb's quarters here. It's in the same genus as quinoa, chenopodium. And these plants are about, you know, there's three, four, three, the shortest ones are three feet high. The tallest ones are four, four and a half feet high. So this is what the quinoa should look like at this time of year. And then be putting on big heads. And, um, the lamb quarters doesn't put on the big heads like quinoa. It's one of the different ways you can tell the difference. But look at how lush these plants are. And this all just came up because I turned over this little patch, you know, this spring. And see, we're very close to the water here and we're in the shade. So perhaps the way to grow quinoa in this particular area is to plant it in this kind of place.